Hi everyone. If I look like I'm in some weird office building, that's because I sort of am. I'm actually at school right now because I meant to record this video at home, but just didn't get around to it, so I'm doing it between classes right now. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's what the term extreme metal means to me. Now, to most people, extreme metal is like the various really ridiculously heavy forms of metal that started to crop up in the 80s like de or 90s like thrash metal death metal black metal sludge metal stuff like that so like a band like destroyer 666 i guess you could classify them as extreme metal because they're sort of a combination of black metal and thrash metal in their sound but it kind of has a completely different meaning to me. And the reason why I'm talking about this is basically, this is just me talking about a thought process that I have that I doubt many other metalheads have in the world. Because, like, and I don't mean to sound arrogant by that, it's just like, I've sort of given it my own meaning because primarily of the band Meshuga, which you all know I fucking love, I talk about them all the time. But Wikipedia actually describes them as extreme metal. So when I was back when I was first getting into them, I'm like, what genre are these guys anyway? And it's just said extreme metal, experimental metal. I'm like, well, what is what makes extreme metal different from like death metal or thrash metal? And so I just started basically just like listening to them and picking out elements of their sound that I knew I loved. The groove, the insanely heavy guitars, the screamed vocals, just stuff like that. And occasional, well, not occasional in Meshuggah's case, but like the use of polyrhythms too. And a, a little bit after that time, I'd gotten into Gojira, and I honestly am going to go ahead and say right now, like Wikipedia and just other people in general, they get like confused as hell about what Gojira's genre is. They are the same genre. The exact same genre as Meshuggah, in my honest opinion. Because so many of those elements I described are there. Like the screen vocals, the super heavy guitars, and um, occasional uses of odd time signature and stuff like that. So... Basically, I feel like extreme metal maybe shouldn't not called extreme metal, but bands that are in this, like, style, if you ask me, would include bands like Meshuggah, Gojira, Strapping Young Lad, um, like, Dillinger Escape Plan's Miss Machine album, I would consider in this style as well, as well as Fear Factory, even though you can, like, consider them, like, industrial metal, at the same time, they really embody the sound. Oh, and the more recent decapitated stuff, too. I also felt like Silosis were going down this same line for a while. Like, I thought they hinted at going more towards more of a Gojira sound with Edge of the Earth, but that didn't really happen, so... But the reason, primarily, why I'm, I'm talking about this is because I found out about one of my favorite bands through Google searching the term Extreme Metal and eventually finding them about them. And I'm intend on reviewing this band's entire discography to date, which is about to get an addition next month, and that is the band Hybrid. Now, if I had to describe their sound, it's basically all of those elements of what I personally call extreme metal, but with a bit more of a grindcore and a even more super technical time signature edge. So it's like... They're just crazy. If you don't want to call them um, extreme metal, you could call them Gojira Grind. Um, that's one thing I like to call them. But the reason I'm making this video is because I'll probably be using the term extreme metal to describe their sound a lot when I'm doing the reviews of what they have released so far and will release at the end of next month. Um, Beyond Undeniable Entropy, The Eighth Plague, and the new full-length record, which will be called Angst. So, yeah. I guess my question to you guys is, do you feel that Meshuggah, Gojira, and bands like that, Strapping Young Lad, 
Zerath too. How did I fuck? How did I freaking forget Zerath? Um, do you feel like they belong in their own genre so that there can be less confusion of people trying to determine what their genre is? Because Gojira, in my honest opinion, their early stuff is death metal, but they've evolved to something heavier and more powerful and more melodic. Well, not than melodic death metal, but just than regular death metal to the point where they don't deserve to be called death metal anymore. They've transcended that. And so has Zerath. I mean, I feel like they deserve their own genre classification, both so people will stop, like, arguing about what genre they are. I mean, people don't argue that is extreme metal, and for the same reason I feel like people shouldn't argue some of these other bands are extreme metal. But what do you think? Should there be this own genre that these bands can fit in? And to some degree, I want to touch on Gent also has some bands that I feel fit into this classification, but other bands that don't. Like, uh, I guess if you want a quick example, I remember the band Structures having the sort of elements of this extreme metal sound I'm talking about. But I feel like maybe if it even wasn't called extreme metal, if it was called something like if everyone got influenced or knew about Meshuggah before Obzen and knew about them in the Chaosphere area, era and started making really heavy groove-based, scream vocal-based music back then, that there could the genre could have been ca called Chaos Metal and there could have been a whole Chaos Metal revolution at the same time as the New Metal one, but I don't know. Leave me what you guys think in the description. Even if you think my whole thought process on this is completely retarded, I'm not going to care. I just wanted to make this video really quick as a precursor to my hybrid discography review that I will be starting later this month. And I also intend on making a review of the new Killswitch Engage, so be on the lookout for that. Bye, guys.